Hi everyone, I'm Julie Balderrama and I'm your dream coach and I'm the headmistress for the Academy for Practical Dream Magic. Now I'm going to talk to you in this video a little bit about nightmares. Nightmares are some of my favorite dreams to work with because they are a gift and they bring us big medicine, big energy for us to heal and to transform and to shift. So my whole experience with working with nightmares has uh, been able to help me embrace my waking life in a very different way. Um, my waking life, what I've come to realize is that being in this growth mindset means that I see everything in my waking life, everything that comes to me as a gift, as a um, something that's going to support my expansion, it's going to support my growth, it's going to support my um, ability to take care of myself and my um, my ability to enjoy life and live life to the fullest and bring my special gifts out into the world. And so, how did I get to that space? Well, it really was working through or working with my nightmares. Jeremy Taylor says in the Wisdom of Your Dreams that there's no such thing as a bad dream; that all dreams come to us in service of health and wholeness. So. Most of you have ha had nightmares, I'm guessing, and maybe you've even been tormented by nightmares. And so to pause here for just a moment and think, what if all dreams, even my nightmares, are coming to me in service of my health and my wholeness? Even though when we have nightmares, they can feel super uncomfortable and scary and frightening and triggering, it's big energy coming to you. Even though it is that big energy and it feels overwhelming and it feels sometimes suffocating and it feels too big to deal with, what if I could just start by saying, this is a gift to me, this is a big gift to me. So I work with empaths and highly sensitive people and bleeding hearts that desperately want to help people and to be of service and to make a big impact in the world. But because we have big open hearts and we often, um, we can often feel very overwhelmed and um, that can lead to shutdown and to exhaustion um, and to kind of hiding from the world as a way to protect ourselves. So through dream work and energy work and coaching, um, I'm able to fill my own magic backpack and to give um, people who are more sensitive and who are um, big feelers, give them a magic backpack full of tools so that they can engage in the world in a way that feels healthier and liberating and courageous while still staying true to their loving and compassionate nature, still moving through the world with an open heart. We're being called, us sensitives and um, empaths, we're being called to be teachers and to be healers and wisdom keepers and to help with this global transformation. We're being called to help mankind, humankind, the world up level into a growth space where we are in that growth mindset as a society, as a culture. Everything comes to me as a gift. And there is enough, and I am enough, and I have what I need. All right, so nightmares, back to our nightmares. Our nightmares are gifts. And so what do we do with them? So I wanna answer three basic questions in this particular video. What is a nightmare? Why do we have them? And then what can we do with them? So they can feel pretty disturbing and they can really throw our waking life into a bit of a tailspin. Um, and a lot of times because that happens, um, we can really feel sort of like off, taken offline. I get so many calls from people who are in that sort of panic state when they've had a nightmare. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes there's a little bit of space between when they have a nightmare and when I have an opening um, to be able to help them with their dream. And in that space, they can often talk themselves out of working with the nightmare. It's just a dream, they tell themselves. And there's enough space between the big feelings um, and they're, you know, they get busy and back in sort of the, the habit of life um, and, and forget about the nightmare. But nightmares are a wake-up call. 
I am aware of that pun. I love that pun. They're a wake up call. In coaching, we talk about how life will bring us, um, you know, a whisper or a shout or a two by four when we are um, in a situation that either needs to be transformed, it's not sustainable, it's not healthy, or when we want, when we have trauma that needs to be healed and integrated back into the whole. And so the whisper can often come as a dream. It can come as a little niggling intuition. It can come as a red flag. You know, those red flags that you see um, in situations that maybe you don't pay attention to when you're in the situation, but in hindsight, you're like, oh yeah, I see that red flag. And so those are the whispers that come to us. Then oftentimes, if we don't pay attention to the whispers, we get the shout. We get something that is a little bit harder for us to not pay attention to. So that might start to look like, you know, a disturbing dream, not quite a nightmare, or recurring dreams. Or it's something in our life that we really have to sort of sit up and pay attention to. And then, of course, if we don't listen to the shout, the two by four, the big board across the head will come. And that could look like a nightmare. Or it could look like a series of nightmares that really jolt us awake and make us pay attention to these big, big feelings and big images. In waking life, that two by four can look like a health crisis or um, some, a loss of some kind, a loss of a job or a loss of a uh, loved one. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that this two by four can kind of come and hit us over the head if we haven't been paying attention to the whisper or the shout. So your nightmares are wake up calls for you to pay attention to something in your life that's either unhealthy for you, unsustainable for you, or you're at a place where it's becoming imperative that you work with um, and heal from and integrate some kind of trauma that you've experienced in your past. Now that can feel really scary. In fact, a lot of people can maybe go, oh, wait a second. Well, if, I'm, if this dream is bringing me some kind of trauma in my life, I'm not equipped to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Don't I need a professional? You can get a professional. Your dream might be saying, get a therapist, get a coach, get somebody who can help you through this, get a support group. But it is coming to you because you do have the courage and the skills and resiliency to be able to deal with it at this point. If you didn't, your dream, would it, your dream life wouldn't bring it to you. You wouldn't be having the nightmare. So why do we have them? We have them because they're a wake up call. What's the purpose? The purpose is to spur us into action, to do something with the information that it's bringing you. Um, it is asking you to change a situation that's unhealthy or unsustainable, or it's asking you to heal and um, resolve some kind of trauma from your past. Now, what can we do with our nightmares when we have them? Well, um, we can work with them. So <laughs> there's a lot of different ways that you can work with them. Um, and you may fool yourself or listen to others when these parts of you sort of come up through your dreams or through your nightmares when you have these nightmares, that it's best ignored or left alone or put protection um, against the nightmare, against having the nightmares or any number of those sorts of things that tell us, don't pay attention to this. This is too scary, too frightening. We can't deal with that. Um, but unfortunately, this isn't true. If, it, if it's come to you, it's asking to be dealt with and resolved and integrated and healed. Um, and when these parts are healed and they're loved and they're integrated back into the whole, they make you um, stronger. They make you a love warrior. They give you exactly what you need to go out and make that impact in the world um, that you want to make because you will experience pushback when you bring your authentic self into the world. People are not used to you showing up as your authentic self and so you'll get pushback but it won't, won't phase you when you work with your nightmares because you've faced those monsters and you've made them allies instead of the boogeyman so when you do this with your dreams and your nightmares this is easier to do in waking life so why do we have them they're a wake-up call they want us to pay attention to something that's going on in our lives or a past trauma that wants to be healed. And what's the purpose? To spur us into action, to do what it is we're being called to do, to face the fear, to resolve the trauma, um, to heal, to transform. Why do we, what can we do when we have them? We can work with them. Now, a lot of us 
have felt disempowered around our dreams. We feel like we've got to go to an expert to have someone tell us what our dreams mean. That's actually so not true. You're able to work with your dreams um, because you're strong enough. It's your subconscious. You're the, you're the only one who has any authority over what your dreams mean. So you can uh, work with your nightmares in a number of different ways. Maybe you already work with dreams, so you can work with your nightmares in the same way that you work with your dreams. It can be helpful to have someone with you as you work with a nightmare because they are big feelings and big, um, big energy, big chi, and because it's frightening and uncomfortable. And so in that way, it's often really a wonderful idea to, to have a friend help you or uh, to find a dream group um, to help you or even to find a professional, a therapist or a coach um, to help you with your dreams as well. I have created a nightmare field guide um, which you can check out by clicking on the link below. And this nightmare field guide just gives you a couple of different steps, if you've never done any dream work before, um, of being able to approach your nightmares. At the end of the nightmare field guide and all the steps that I've laid out for you, I have a guided video for you as well that will take you through a, um, a sort of meditative space or a mindful, mindful space that helps you get into a place where you're witnessing or observing what's going on, and then you're approaching it with loving kindness. And so this particular exercise can be really helpful with dealing with nightmares. In that video too, you'll also find steps to being able to re-enter the dream in a waking life state where you feel a little bit more in control of um, the images and the feelings that come that have come through the nightmare so that you can in waking life go back into the dream and either face the monster or ask questions or do something that feels more empowering in the dream and then notice what happens in your waking life. So click on the link below if this is something that interests you, um, if you'd like to work with your nightmares. And then, of course, there's also a link in that, um, in that uh, click. When you click on that link, there's also a way to get in contact with me if you have a nightmare that you'd like um, me to help you with. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you either in the Academy for Practical Dream Magic or in one of my classes or workshops or in relationship in doing this uh, dream coaching, working and weaving our dreams, the medicine and the wisdom from our dreams into our waking life and beginning to transform and live our lives, create our lives um, exactly the way that we want them. Thank you so much, and I'll see you. Sweet dreams.